tragedy on Vesperna. Following a death on the expedition to the newly discovered exoplanet Vesperna, Captain Paul Travers ordered immediate preparations to return to Earth. We can now report that shortly after leaving orbit, the Zenith 4 Lightspeed Freighter has exploded. We go live to the scene of the disaster. Skulls, Travers. Guard against the Verspona. Skulls. Skulls, Professor? What are you talking about? Professor? It's too late, Paul. He's dead. This piece of paper. He must have been trying to write something down just before the explosion. Some sort of scientific data. But it means nothing to me. The main hull! It's breaking up! Let's get out of here. Greg, we're pulling out. Head for the forward airlock. A fine ship and a fine crew. All gone. Including Professor Vadsky. This mission has had the stamp of doom from the start. One man lost on Vespona, and the rest in space. That cargo of bones must have been the cause. Yes, but how does their structure differ from ordinary bones? Vatsky's notes don't help us much. One thing I do know, though, too many lives have been lost for us to just ignore this mystery. Brad, change course. We're going back to Verspona. Eerie, isn't it? Not a sound, not a living thing in sight. Don't be too sure of that, Doc. Remember what the professor said. Beware the skulls. But that's what I don't understand. There's every type of bone in this valley, except skulls. One may have been slipped aboard the Zenith without our knowledge. We'll split up and start looking. But be on your guard. Remember Carson. Understood. A light. Paul, I think I might have found something. Hang on. We're on our way. Huh. False alarm. I thought I saw a light. Heading back to base camp. Huh? What the? Why didn't it finish me off? I wouldn't have stood a chance. Paul! Ray! I got something! You're saying the bones assembled and attacked you? Greg, it just isn't possible. Sure it isn't. But I swear it happened! Well, it's more than we found. What now? Simple. We offer ourselves up as bait and walk into the cave. Oh, of course we do. My gun seemed to scare it off last time. Hopefully it has the same effect again. Hold it. Look at these recesses piled high with skulls. The same ones that attacked me. Only smaller and as lifeless as empty seashells. That light. It's the same one I saw before. Okay. Let's take a look. It's like some sort of underground lake. Look at the water. It's like luminous paint. This must be the source of the light, but I still don't understand. Neither do I, but this stuff certainly isn't paint. I'll run it through the molecular analyzer. Make it fast, Doc. We're wide open here. Impossible. It's a mixture of advanced lymphatic tissue and periosteum. Which in my kind of layman's language means what, Doc? That stuff in the pool contains most of the material necessary for the growth and development of bones in a living being. You don't mean... Back to the tunnel, quick! Ah! 
It's got me! Paul! It's got me! 